Hello, everyone. My name is Rodney Lee, and I'm an employment analyst with the Paralyzed Veterans of America Veterans Career Program. I'd like to share some information today with you about networking. And I will start off by saying that I believe that the single most important thing that you can do in your job search is to network. I think we can all agree that employers are interested in, in people um, that are referred to them because we're in a time uh, where it's all about who you know. Um, employers spend a lot of money hiring people uh, to come work for their organization and uh, you know, to lose those individuals in less than a year is it, it, not helpful to organizations. So to be able to receive referrals, to, to know that that individual is a good fit uh, and is uh, technically competent is uh, something that can happen through networking. So today's objective is to provide an overview of networking tips and techniques, what to do and what to avoid. So I'd like to start off by sharing a definition with you. What is networking? Well, according to the Oxford English Dictionary, networking is the action or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop uh, professional and social contacts and relationships. So essentially networking is building friendships. So networking, uh, this will serve as our agenda today and we'll talk about where to network, how to network and some of the do's and don'ts of networking. So where do I network? Well, one of the best places to start off networking is in your friends and family network. Uh, I often ask people, when's the last time you pulled out your cell phone and just kind of scroll through it and um, reconnect it with some of the people that you knew in the past? And uh, uh, more times than none, I have people to come back and say, nah, I really hadn't thought about that. But uh, if you really think about it, and if you're anything like me, you have more than 500 contacts in your phone. And these are individuals that, um, that you may have lost some contact uh, with over the years. People that know you, know the value that you bring, they know your work ethic, you know, that they know about your technical competence, uh, they know about your character, um, and, and that's the absolute best place to, uh, to network is people that know you. Uh, so again, just uh, pulling out that cell phone and reconnecting with uh, some of those old relationships, seeing what they're up to, uh, you know, people know people. And uh, the people that you know, you want to reach out to see what people they know to help your efforts. Networking and social uh, events are always a great place uh, for networking, obviously. Uh, we're not in a, a, a great time to go out and do some face-to-face -face networking, uh, but uh, when the time does come, uh, networking events are always great. Uh, social media outlets um, is, is, is basically what, what we're doing today uh, in order to conduct our, our networking efforts um, um, forums like uh, LinkedIn and Facebook, uh, Twitter and other online networking groups are great groups uh, to, to conduct social media networking. Within your organization or previous organizations, again, these are um, places that uh, people know you. Um, they know who you are and they can vouch for you. They can refer uh, you to organizations uh, or to people that they know. Uh, so it's a great place, um, you know, to um, to start with uh, and to talk to people uh, within that organization that you have a rapport with um, for assistance. Also, nonprofit organizations like ours are great places to connect with and, um, you know, have people work on your behalf and advocate on your behalf, you know, with employers. Organizations like ours, we, uh, we partner with a, a lot of different companies out there. Um, and, 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 and speak on behalf of our veterans uh, as far as referrals are concerned. Um, businesses and restaurants are, are great places. Um, an interesting story, my wife and I some time ago uh, was uh, sitting outside of a restaurant waiting uh, to be called and a couple came up and uh, sat next to us and we struck up a conversation. The conversation went so well, we uh, joined each other uh, for dinner inside the restaurant uh, built a wonderful rapport. Turns out uh, the gentleman I was speaking with uh, owned a trucking company and was looking for uh, an HR manager. And uh, it was interesting. He offered me the job by the time we finished dinner, just based off uh, conversations we had throughout the dinner. 
Now, at that time, I had just started a new opportunity, but it just kind of goes to show um, you never know. I mean, um, if you're willing to share who you are and, 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 and the value that you bring, um, anywhere can be an opportunity to network. Uh, waiting in lines and again, just anywhere people congregate. So how to network? Well, we'll, we'll talk about virtual networking first, uh, uh, but I have to broken down long term networking and short term networking in the long term in your virtual networking. You can post content, interesting content. Uh, you always want to be positive with your online content. You want to respond and like other people's content. Uh, and, and let me talk about to you a little bit about you know that that content um first of all just building a, a profile um on linkedin for example is not good enough because the whole point is for you to kind of showcase who you are uh and, and what you can do uh, and, and and not just who you are uh, in terms of the job but who you are in terms of your character so posting that content about who you are um you know your likes and dislikes uh you don't have to necessarily just uh, talk about jobs and, you know, um, your, your technical expertise. Again, um, you know, some of the things that you may be into uh, mountain climbing, auto mechanics, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, and, 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 and maybe just talking about, you know, some of the things that you believe in as far as character. And, and again, just keeping it positive. But it's all about building your brand and showcasing who you are. People will pay attention especially if you do it enough. Um, but again, it, it really takes time um, to, to kind of really build that, that trust and credibility um, with the public that you're communicating with. And, uh, but if you stay consistent with it and, and, and start building your brand, um, reaching out, asking for informational interviews, that um, long-term um, um, networking is... Um, Again, an effort that you definitely want to make uh, because you want people to pay attention and, and see uh, who you are in the short term. Um, some of the things that you can do is uh, connect with some of the industry experts uh, by sending them a, a message um, and, 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 and just kind of telling them um, um, a little bit about your background, um, the, the fact that you're interested in, in, in that particular organization and any uh, assistance that they can provide to you. And uh, I have three different examples that, that follows this particular slide. But uh, an example is a, um, a peer letter that you can send to for uh, an individual that's working in a role that um, you're, you're interested in, in working in, similar, in a similar role. Uh, recruiters in that particular industry uh, and uh, the hiring managers in that particular industry. And um, these examples that I'm about to share with you um, comes from Amy Miller. She's a, a recruiter for Amazon. Uh, she posts a lot of great content out there online. I, I follow her and uh, I reached out to her website and um, uh, her team provided me these templates. So the, the very first one is uh, peer networking. And um, again, this is just a, uh, an example of what a letter can look like um, for, for you to kind of take this um, as an idea to create your own. Uh, and again, uh, you, you just want to kind of just showcase um, uh, who you are and um, the, the value that you bring, um, your, your skill set and things of that nature um, and, and, and send this message to individuals in that industry industry um, that, again, are working in, in similar roles that you may be interested in going into. And then there's uh, the recruiter networking um, example or recruiter networking example. So, you know, if, if you're interested in working with um, a particular recruiter, um, you may want to come up with a message similar to this one uh, that, again, kind of introduces who you are and um, your interest in, in their particular organization and uh, any assistance that they can provide will, will be appreciated. And the last one is an example from a hiring or to a hiring official. Uh, and again, just um, information you can share uh, to let them know that um, not only are you you're qualified for a particular role that they have posted, um, 
but but that you're extremely interested and would love to communicate with them um, regarding that particular role. So let's talk about how to network face to face. Well, when you're going into a face to face networking forum like a job fair or a networking event, uh, one of the first things you want to do is research the companies that will be attending that event and even some of the people that may be attending there. Oftentimes on the flyer, we'll tell you, you know, uh, who the speakers will be, uh, um, who will be providing classes there. Uh, they may even uh, provide uh, the names of individuals that will be representing certain companies. So um, you, you definitely want to do your due diligence and, and look up information regarding those companies and those people. Uh, so you can establish a rapport w once you get there and start sharing some of the information that you've learned. One of the things that you want to do is always listen to, to find something in common to establish a rapport with. Um, you know, oftentimes uh, at networking events, you may have to wait in line to speak to um, one of the individuals that's uh, representing a company there that you're interested in. Uh, so, again, uh, just just listening for for great um, information to to talk about is, is wise. Uh, you want to share ideas and thoughts. Um, of work related problems and suggest solutions. Again, this is information that can come from your research. Um, you want to share a story. Uh, you want to use your elevator pitch. Um, and that elevator pitch is basically that 30 second to one minute pitch, uh, you know, as far as who you are, um, you know, your skill set, and, um, you know, how you can help the organization grow. Um, it's an opportunity where you can also ask for informational interviews. Um, again, after establishing a little bit of rapport and um, if the opportunity presents itself, uh, just to ask for, for time or a meeting to speak to that individual about the company. Not to ask them for a job, but to ask them for more information about the organization. Look for opportunities to offer assistance and, uh, and, and, and opportunities to be helpful. Uh, again, this will kind of show your character and who you are and the fact that you're you're you're, you're positive, you're friendly, you're helpful. Uh, it goes a long way and people pay attention. Always take advantage of the opportunity to ask for advice. Um, again, um, you're, you're talking to um, individuals that, that represent organizations and and they have a lot of information to share it with you. Um, uh, particularly uh, how can you become a part of the organization, some of the things that you can do. Um, so definitely uh, reach out and ask for that type of information. Uh, get their contact information and always follow up. Um, you, you want people to remember who you are. Uh, so so reach it out, um, you know, especially if the conversation went real well and, and, and you felt the connection between you and that individual, um, you absolutely want to follow up. You know, so they can uh, um, they, they can, um, you know, assist you, uh, you know, at a later time. So some of the do's uh, do be friendly, positive and genuine, just like we spoke about earlier. No one really likes working with negative people. At least I don't, you know. Uh, uh, but but if you're positive, if you're friendly, man, I, I'll go the extra mile for you. And, and a lot of people are like that, you know, um, no one. Um, Again, uh, well, very few people are interested in working with those negative, disgruntled type of people. So, um, you know, bring your best self, uh, you know, show your best character. Uh, that's what it's all about. Uh, again, uh, uh, rapport building. Um, share who you are and how you can help. Do offer courses of actions and solutions from, from the research and information that you were able to uh, discover. Uh, do prepare for targeted conversations, you know, from your research. Um, do respect people's time. Again, at job fairs, you may be in a a, a line uh, of, of people, and, and you're taking up uh, the representative time. But uh, you know, be cognizant of uh, the individuals that's behind you and uh, are also waiting to to speak with those individuals. So just be respectful. Um, post helpful and insightful information on on online uh, platforms like we spoke about earlier. Uh, request informational interviews. And again, always do follow ups. Some of the don'ts. Don't be afraid to engage and ask inquiring questions. 
it's always interesting. Uh, you know, I kind of look around and pay attention uh, in, in some of these job fairs, or at least I did back when we were attending job fairs. And, uh, you know, I, I, I always notice people just kind of wandering around and just kind of looking around, but not engaging. Um, and, you know, for, for some, I, I understand that it's not comfortable uh, just to kind of walk up and, and, and just strike up a conversation. But, uh, you know, <coughs> during these type of interviews, it will behoove you to, um, you know, use personal courage and, and, and reach out, engage and talk and, and let people know, um, you know, why you're there and, uh, and, 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 and how you can be valuable. Uh, but don't oversell, so don't oversell yourself. You know, now well, we talked about the shy and, and quiet people that don't engage. Well, then we have those individuals that engage just probably a little too much. Right. So you always want to keep it short in these type of events. Uh, concise and interesting, uh, depending on the situation and the scenario. Uh, granted, if you're in a great conversation and um, and, and it's just a, a two way conversation and both of you are are engaged, I got it. Um, but if uh, you, you're you know taking some time from uh, one of the representatives, um, again, you you want to keep it as short as possible, uh, but but to the point. Um, don't expect instant results. Uh, again, uh, networking takes time. Um, so it, it may not happen automatically, you know, e even in the short term, uh, networking, uh, that, that we spoke about earlier, uh, it may be some time before they get back with you or they may not get back with you. Um, but just don't expect instant results. Uh, also don't expect anyone to reply or respond to your requests. Uh, you, you may have to reach out to 20 people to get one person to respond. Um, but don't look at it as a negative thing. Look at it that people are just busy. Um, I've reached out to connect with people and they eventually connected with me like three weeks later. Uh, but I've also had uh, people that didn't connect with me at all. Uh, maybe they hadn't got around to it or maybe they just weren't interested. And that's OK. We, we continue to move forward and forge ahead. And uh, and just reach out to other people that that may be willing to assist. Uh, so but don't stop. Don't stop trying, uh, especially if you're job searching for a long period of time. Uh, you know, there will be days where it's a little discouraging. And. Um, and trust me, I get it. Um, I, I will just tell you that, um, you know, maybe that particular day, take a break and, you know, um, uh, concentrate and do something else and then come back the next day and, uh, you know, just uh, stay consistent and engaged with it because, you know, if you stay consistent enough with it, uh, it, it will happen for you. Uh, don't get offended or retaliate uh, with negative comments or communications online. Uh, I see this a lot uh, on LinkedIn. Um, uh, people talking about controversial uh, type of topics and, um, and and they they do the back and forth uh, to the point where they're cussing each other out and I mean you're 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 doing this on the world wide web people are watching and paying attention and it doesn't help you to uh, build a brand and and I got it you know um, people have different thoughts when it comes to politics and religion and uh, you know uh, what I say about the two is that whatever you believe it's valid. People believe in what they believe in, you know, based off their experiences and whatever the case may be. And uh, um, you may disagree with someone's belief or view or outlook and and that's OK. But to, to, to go on uh, to the World Wide Web and, and, and just be nasty to them because you don't believe in their views or their thoughts uh, is it, not helpful for you. Um, it doesn't look good. It doesn't build a brand. And um you want to avoid that as much as possible, because once it's put out there, uh, it's out there. And that's it. Uh, I, I hope that the information was helpful. Um, thank you so much for your time. Again, my name is Rodney Lee. I'm with the Paralyzed Veterans of America Veterans Career Program. Uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you.
Since 1946, PVA has been the leading advocate for veterans with spinal cord injuries and diseases such as MS and ALS. We help all veterans with disabilities by helping with earned benefits and specialized health care, education and career resources, adaptive sports, housing and legal assistance. Learn more at pva.org.